Yo what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video I have another GTA 5 online tutorial showing you how to get this ripped sleeve or ripped shirt look on your character. Now this is actually a really simple glitch guys and you can actually use this glitch to make a lot of cool outfits. So on screen right now is just basically just a basic variant that I'm going to be showing you. Now this is an outfit that I actually made in the past. It's called the Black Slasher and then this is another one called All White. Now we'll leave links to the Black Slasher and the All White outfit at the end of the video but for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this simple one and basically just start off this glitch. So the first thing that we want to do is make our way down to the clothing store guys. Now we are going to need to buy a couple of things here. So first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and make our way inside and go over to the top section. Now once we get over to the top section what we're going to be doing is going all the way down to the vest section and purchasing a sweater, basically the navy sweater vest as you can see on screen right now. Now once you have purchased that what you want to do is go ahead and put on any of the classic suit vests. So as you can see in the gameplay in the background I'm going to be putting on the classic one. Now the reason we're doing this is because if you put on the navy one you won't be able to buy these shirts that we're going to need for a glitch later on. So as you can see in the gameplay in the background we're basically just buying all the band vest shirts. Now of course you can buy any colour that suits the outfit that you're going to be making. Now once we have purchased that colour shirt that we want, what we're going to be doing is going ahead and putting back on the navy sweater vest that we purchased at the beginning of the video. Now once you have equipped that, what we want to do is go ahead and change the outfit any way you want. So as you can see in the gameplay in the background, I was basically just changing the pants. And I believe I just put on the black team pants or combat pants. But basically this is the time now where we want to go ahead and change the outfit. So if you want to put on some gloves or if you want to put on a different color pants or something like that, now's the time to do it. Now once you have customized your outfit, as you can see I left my one pretty simple by just changing the pants. What we want to do is go ahead and save the outfit. Now once you have saved the outfit, what we're going to be doing is going back onto the main menu as you can see your clothing. And we're going to be going to the heist overall section and we're going to be putting on any of the outfits that have the gas mask so that's the fumigator the hazard one or the quarantine one so now once you have purchased one of them what you want to do is go ahead and equip it guys now from this point on what we're going to be doing is making our way over to our apartment now as you can see guys i've arrived at my apartment and what we want to do is the telescope glitch now i'm pretty sure if you're familiar with my channel you know what this is what you're going to be doing is basically running past the telescope, hitting right on the D-pad if you're on PS4, and then once it takes off your mask and you're not looking into the telescope, you want to bring up your interactive menu, go to style, and go ahead and put on the outfit that we were just designing. Now, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, if you've done it correctly, the mask can now glitch onto the outfit that we were currently customizing. And it does look a bit funny, guys, but don't worry, it doesn't have to stay like this. Anyways, once you have got the glitch to work, what we want to do is go ahead and save this outfit with the gas mask on it. Now once you have saved it, what you want to do is go ahead and bring up your interactive menu and make sure that your spawn location is set to last location. Now this is really important guys or the next step will not work. Now once you have done that, what we want to do is go over to style, outfits and we want to spam on our outfit, I would say at least 5 times. Now once you have done that guys, what we want to do is go over to jobs, rockstar created jobs, missions and we want to go ahead and start tightening up a job. Now the reason that we spammed on the outfit is basically just to get the outfit to stick and for this next part of the video to make sure it works. Now guys, once we have started up tightening up the job, you do want to try and get yourself to be host. I haven't actually tried someone else being the host and seeing if this works, but basically what you want to do, I would recommend just trying to get yourself to be the host. Now once you are the host, what you want to do is go ahead and start up the mission. It doesn't really matter about the settings of the mission because it's not really important because we're going to be backing out of the mission pretty soon anyways. Now once you guys load into the mission, you should notice that you ha now have invisible arms and you should also spawn in on your last location. So as you guys know, I was in my apartment and when I started up the mission, I spawned in my apartment again. Now this is a good sign. Now from here what we want to do is make our way over to the clothing section in our apartment. Go ahead and press right on the d-pad and what we want to do is go over to tops and we want to go over to vest shirts. Now once we get to vest shirts guys what we want to do is go ahead and put on any of the band vest shirts that we want. So for this video I'm going to be going ahead and putting on the red one. But as I said before when we are in the clothing store go ahead and purchase any one that suits the outfit that you are making. Now once you put it on guys, you cannot change it and if you want to put on a different colour, you are going to have to repeat the glitch again. Now once you have got the outfit or the shirt that you want on, 
simply what you want to do is go ahead and just pull up your phone and back out of the mission now once you do that guys you should go back into a gta 5 online a free roam session with the outfit on now guys if you are enjoying the video so far make sure you do drop a like and subscribe as we are really close to 700 subscribers and it would really mean a lot if we could hit that pretty soon. Another thing I want to say guys is thank you on all the support on the channel. Our last two videos got around, uh, I believe one got around 2,000 views and another one got 1,000 views which is a lot and I really want to say thank you for that. But anyways guys let's get back into the video. Alright guys, so as you can see in the gameplay in the background, we're finally loading into a new GTA 5 online session from our previous one where we quit the mission Titan of a Job. Now once you do spawn into a new session, you should either spawn in your apartment or outside your apartment, it doesn't really matter. But once you do um, load in guys, you should see that you still have the glitched outfit on with the, sh the shirt and the ripped sleeves as I like to call it. Now from this point on in the video guys, all you have to do is go ahead and save the outfit and go ahead and feel free to customize it in any way you, that you want. Now guys, at the beginning of the video, I did show you two other outfits, the black slasher one and the all white one. Now I will leave links to them at the end of the video, so if you're interested in viewing them, make sure you do go ahead and check them out. Now they are vid old videos, so if I do sound different or if they do look a little bit different to my normal editing style, I am sorry for that. But anyways guys, as you once you save this outfit, the video is now complete and you have completely um, free choice of what you want to customize. Now I believe all I did was put on some glasses and a hat for this outfit. But anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video or if you did find it helpful, make sure you do drop a like and subscribe as we are trying to hit 700 subscribers and it would really mean a lot. Anyways guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.